Hi everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes. We're teaming up yet again with some of our very creative Dessert Network friends to bring you this wonderful set of Mother's Day tutorials. You can find the links to all of these tutorials underneath our video or you can click on the individual photos now. We'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful Mother's Day cupcake topper. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by kneading some really nice light pastel pink gum paste and we're going to roll this out pretty thin. Remember you can always change up the colors however you'd like. I'm going to be using a really pretty cutter from one of my favorite sets. This is the one here on the top left. I love the shape of this. It's only about two inches long and the perfect size for a regular size cupcake. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Once this is cut out, I'm just going to set it off to the side to start drying a bit. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite molds to cut out the letters. This is by Martha Stewart. These are so pretty and again you can find the links to this mold underneath my tutorial. And for this I'm going to be using a really pretty hot pink. For each letter I'm just going to use a very small amount of gum paste and I just press it in there. I'm going to make sure it's really in there by going over it with my little acrylic rolling pin. I like to place it in the center and then roll outward and that way I make sure I don't accidentally make it come out. I'm going to use my really cool straight blade here just to get rid of the excess. That way it's not in my way. I'm going to go over it just a little bit more just to make sure I get rid of as much gum paste as possible. I'm going to use my straight blade now to cut off all of the excess gum paste to make sure it's nice and clean and I'm laying it flat on the silicone mold and slicing inward. Just turn it over and it comes out very nicely. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I'm just going to make the other two letters for the word mom. Now we're ready to place our letters on our little topper and make sure you have your edible glue handy. Before I actually glue them on there, I like to place them on there and that way I know exactly where they're going to go. If you like my super cute donut brush stand, you can find these in my Etsy shop. You can find the link underneath the video. I also have the most adorable cupcake brush stands. Now I'm just adding a little bit of edible glue to the back of each letter and I'm just going to place them on there very carefully and make sure that my letters are nice and straight. Now we're going to make some little mini roses for our topper and for this I'm using a lighter shade of hot pink and I'm going to roll this out pretty thin. You don't need that much. Once this is rolled out I'm going to take my straight blade and I'm just going to cut out two little ribbons. They're each about a quarter of an inch wide. And I'm going to trim off the edges here, making each ribbon only about two, two and a half inches long. Now I'm going to carefully pick up one of my little ribbons using the flat end of my medium sized ball tool. And this is very fun and simple to do. I'm just going to simply hold the end between my two fingers and I'm going to begin to just roll it nice and tight till I get a nice cute looking rose that's maybe only about a quarter of an inch wide. Once I see that it's getting close to the size that I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and stop rolling the ribbon and place it down and just cut off the excess. And I'm just going to take the end here and just press it up against the side of the little flower. I don't want to see too much of it from the top. And I just twist the bottom of it, make it nice and pointy at the bottom. And I'm going to take my straight blade and cut off that little pointy end so that it's nice and flat. 
at the bottom. That way it can sit nicely on our topper. If you accidentally squeeze the top of the little flower, you can always just spread it open. Now we're going to use the second little ribbon to make the second little mini rose. These little flowers don't all have to be the same exact size. You can make them different sizes, but for the most part, you do want to keep them nice and small. For the sake of time, this is really sped up here, but all I'm doing is making two more little mini roses and I'm using a beautiful strawberry color. I made this color mixing red fondant with white and then of course adding Tylos powder to it to turn it into gum paste. So this is the exact same technique and we're just gonna make two beautiful little mini roses out of it. Now we're going to add our cute little roses to our topper and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the bottom of my first little flower. I'm just going to find a really cute spot for it and give it a little press. Careful not to ruin the shape. Now I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the topper itself and also to the side of the first flower. I'm going to add the little second flower, push it up against the first one and give it a nice little press. I'm going to do the same for the third flower and just find a nice little spot for it. This last little mini rose is pretty much going to be hanging off the edge of the topper so it's only going to be glued onto the sides of those two little roses there so make sure you add a good amount of glue to those two little flowers and make sure it's nice and level with the same height as those two little roses and just give all your little flowers a nice little squeeze once you're done adding them. So cute. Now we're going to make some cute mini leaves and for this I'm going to be using some gum paste that I colored avocado color, avocado by Americolor. And for each leaf, you just take a little tiny ball of gum paste and you're just gonna roll it on your table into a little teardrop shape. This is the little shape we're going for. Put it back down on my table and I'm just gonna gently press it down with my finger. I don't wanna flatten it completely. This is just to widen it a little bit. Now I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to use one of my favorite tools. This is my little Silhouette Blade Spatula and I'm going to use this to give the little leaves all their little veining effects. I'm going to start on the wider end of the leaf and I'm just going to make a little line up the middle of the leaf, not all the way to the point, and then I'm going to turn it over and just make little tiny indentations all along the side of the leaf. Is that cute or what? Adorable. I'm just gonna make seven more. You can go ahead and make as many as you'd like, but I'm only using eight little leaves for my topper. Now that all my little leaves are made, I'm gonna start adding them one by one, adding a little bit of edible glue to the back of each one. We just need to find the perfect little spot for each little leaf. The goal is just to make them look like if they're coming out from underneath the little roses, really no matter where you put them, they're gonna look very pretty. This is when my little flat end comes in very handy.
To a couple of the little leaves, I'm gonna have to add glue to the top of them, and these are the ones that are gonna be attached underneath that little rose that's hanging off the edge. Just give it a really good press to make sure that it's really stuck on there. What do you think so far, baby? I think it's beautiful. Welcome to the world of miniatures. Now we're gonna make the tiniest little flowers you've ever seen. These are so fun and simple to make. For these little flowers, I'm using the same hot pink that we used for the letters. And as you saw, I just rolled out a very tiny little ball, rolled it into a little teardrop shape. Then I pierced the wider end of the teardrop with this little modeling stick. And I'm gonna use some little cuticle scissors and I'm gonna make five little cuts to give me five little tiny petals. Make sure that you don't go all the way down, just halfway down the little teardrop. Now I'm gonna gently spread the little petals open. And with my fingers, I'm gonna gently squeeze every little petal just to flatten it and widen it a little bit. And I'm also gonna squeeze the little corners to get rid of those little sharp points. How cute is that? Now I'm just gonna make five more. Okay, so now that I have all of my little flowers made, all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of edible glue to the bottom of each little flower. And this is a fun part, finding the perfect little spot for each one. Here I'm using my modeling stick to give it a nice little push just to make sure that it's nice and stuck on. How pretty. Okay, now for the super fun part, we're gonna add some color to our topper, and for this I'm using some of my favorite Bundle Monster brushes. You can find the links underneath the video. And I'm also gonna be using my favorite non-toxic chalks. If your toppers are gonna be kept as keepsakes like mine are, these are perfectly safe to use. I love, love, love these colors. They are so vibrant and gorgeous. Again, they're not considered edible. They're only considered non-toxic, as are the majority of petal dust. But if your toppers are going to be eaten, which I don't know why in the world they would when you put in this much hard work, but if they're going to be eaten, make sure that you do use edible dusts. Here I'm using one of my favorite pointy brushes from the Bundle Monster set, and I'm using a gorgeous bright purple and as you can see, I only pick up a little bit of color at a time and I dab it on my tissue paper just to make sure that I don't have a bunch of color flying all over the place and dirtying the rest of my topper. And I'm just wanting to shade a little bit of the inside of the flowers here. And the same color looks beautiful in the center of the lighter pink roses. It gives it a really nice contrast. I'm using the same little pointy brush to add some of this beautiful bright purple to the center of our little tiny flowers. And you just wanna be really gentle. I'm just digging the little bristles in the center of the flower and just doing a really small little circular motion. Now I'm gonna use one of my little flat bristled brushes from my Bundle Monster set to add some of this beautiful forest green to the center of my leaves. If you've never dusted color to toppers before, I highly recommend it. It is so much fun. 
You like dusting color too, sweetie? I sure do. It's very therapeutic. What a difference a little color makes. So beautiful. Now we're gonna be painting some little details onto our topper and for this I'm gonna be using Rose. It's a gel food coloring by Wilton and you just need a very small amount. Then you're gonna add a little bit of vodka and give it a good mix. I'm gonna use one of my really nice, long, pointy, bristled brushes from my Bundle Monster set. This is one of my favorite brushes to paint on tiny little details. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the color each time and just draw some really pretty little stitching uh, or little dashes all along the edge of the topper. We're almost done, baby. What do you think? Nice. For the last step, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite soft brushes to dust with, and I'm gonna be using it to add some of this beautiful pearl shimmer to my topper. I just add a little bit to my cap and just add some here and there, not too much because we don't want to completely cover up the color, but just to give it a nice, beautiful glow. All done. Is that beautiful or what? We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful moms out there. Thank you for being subscribers, and please join us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Goodbye, everybody. God bless you. Don't forget to check out all these other wonderful Mother's Day tutorials. You can find the links underneath our video.